Hi there friends. Today I'd like to show you how to set up your own interactive Bitmoji Google Classroom. So you'll notice I have my Google Drive open and I am going to open, this is a Google Slides, I just started one so I'd know how to find it. And you can see I've got a blank slide to start with. And I went ahead and I included some of my examples. So this is all with clip art that I have drawn and you'll notice um, my Bitmoji here. The first place you want to start, um, this is the digital clip art that I've drawn. If you were part of the Speech Retreat Recharge, this was part of your free swag, um, but if not, it's part of my TPT store, um, shopnataliesnyders.com. So you can see I've got these different things here. Now you can either insert a picture this way through the insert uh, menu there, or you can just have this file folder open. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the wall and floor backgrounds. Let's see, let's go with this nice dark blue background. So I can drag it over and I might have to resize it depending on the art. So there we go. All right, now what else do we want in our classroom? Let's see. Well, I do want to show you, I want to insert my Bitmoji. You might notice I have this Bitmoji extension installed on my Chrome browser. I've already installed the Bitmoji app on my iPhone, and then I do this and I can find one. Here's one that looks very excited. So it'll prompt me to right click. I want to copy, and then over here, I want to paste it. So you notice it's got a clear background. This is a PNG file. Um, so I'm just gonna stick it right here for now. Hey, I look excited to see my students. All right, what else do we need in our classroom? I'm gonna go back over here. Clearly this is a much nicer and bigger therapy room than I've ever had. Let's start with, let's see, maybe a whiteboard. Might want a whiteboard. All right, that's a little big, so I'm gonna resize it. Let's see, I want that pretty close to me. Oh, see, I'm hiding behind it, so I'm going to change the order. So I come to the front, you can see me. All right, let's see, what else might we want here? Um, let's see, maybe a chair to sit in. So here's some different options. Ooh, lots of different color choices. Um, let's go with this one here. And there we go, we can make it different sizes. If I wanted to, I could flip it around so it faces the other way, but that looks good for now. What else might we want? Oh, how about a rug? So we've got some different rug options. I like the zebra print. Oops, went a little big there. And then it's just gonna drag it over and resize. All right, so maybe I want it maybe under here. All right, but I still want myself to be in the front. Okay. So let's see, I might also want perhaps a table or a shelf. Let's go ahead and use this one. That's a little big again, so I'm going to resize it and bring it here. I can make it however big I need it to. Maybe I'll make it small and stick it right here. And then maybe I want another big shelf here. So again, it's a little big. I'm just gonna pull it down to resize. All right, so that kind of looks a little bit like a therapy room, but I still need some decorations for the wall maybe. So how about, let's find a clock. Let's do the lime green option. This is a very colorful classroom. You don't have to make it so colorful if you don't want to. Again, that one's very big, so I'm gonna resize it right there. We need a little bit more decoration. How about, I don't know, some plants or banners. Oh, I like that banner. Let's put that over my whiteboard. Still a little big, so I'm gonna resize it. There, and maybe a plant for one of my shelves. Let's see, how about, how about a nice blue one here? And drag it over. Again, we'll make it smaller. 
it's still a little bit big, so I'll make it a little bit smaller here. So I'll put that on my shelf. Have a little decor there. All right. And let's see, let's click on the technology. Let's go ahead and put a screen here because I know I like to share videos and things with my students. So this might be where they click. Uh, I'm just gonna stick it on top here. This doesn't have to look like real life or my real classroom, although you can. If you'll notice um, down here, this is actually a picture of my real therapy room. So you notice I've inserted a picture of a book there. All right, so I'm gonna make that fit. And let's add a few things to the shelf. So let's maybe pick some games and activities. I know I like Wheel of Names, so I might pick the spinner wheel because that kind of looks like the Wheel of Names, that website. Make it a little smaller to fit on one of my shelves. Also, I like Connect Four. I know I've got a digital version of that game that I can link to on a website. So I'm gonna put that on my shelf as well. All right, and then let's see, I think I want some posters. And now these I might link to, so here's like an articulation poster. I might have these on my wall to link to a specific articulation activity. So maybe I'll put that right there. Um, maybe I'll put, let's see, I'll put the video one in there too. Oops, clicked the wrong button. All right, so again, I gotta make it a little bit smaller so it fits. So these are designed to kind of look like posters and let's add one more. Oh, how about a social story? Because I can link any of these images. I can link it to anything that's on the web, a particular website, video, that sort of thing. Or I can link it to anything that's saved in my Google Drive. All right. So, for example, I've got Storyline Online pulled up over here. This is a random book that I picked. So it's me and my cat. It's very appropriate for me. I love cats. So I'm gonna copy this link here and I'm gonna go over and click, see how I'm clicking on the monitor there. Now, sometimes it shows up when I right click it, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm gonna click the format. Nope, sorry. I'm gonna click over to the insert and then see this little link here. So here, you can either link to a different slide in this presentation or I can link to this website. So now, now let's see if I go to the present mode. So now if I go here, if I click on this, it should go to that website, Storyline Online. There it is. All right, so I'm gonna click out of that. All right, I'm gonna go back here. And let's say um, I want to link to something in my Google Drive. So again, the link doesn't want to show up there. Oops. So I'm going to select and insert. Let's see, insert the link. Now here, this gets a little bit more tricky, but what I'm going to pull up in my Google Drive, this is my basic speech and language homework. I know it's there. All right, so I'm gonna hit share, and it should give me a link. So let's see, copy link. Then I'm gonna go over here. See, I've changed tabs. I'm gonna paste it into here. And now, see when I hover over it, it shows me that file in my drive. All right, so that's kind of the general gist of how you link things in your Bitmoji classroom. So I could link this to a specific Connect4 website. Um, I could link this to a specific um, wheel of names that I had made before. You can add text on here if you'd like. So insert text box. I'm gonna make a little text box here. Welcome from Mrs. Snyder's. So there you go. And then you can change the font if you'd like and play with that. Oh, that one looks prettier, I like that, okay. So then maybe I want it centered, I can do that. I want the first line centered too. So there I've got a message there. 
um, you can add all sorts of things to your um, Google Classroom. I'll show you this one is not so much like a classroom, it's more like a bulletin board. I think this one you wouldn't have to change as much if you didn't want to. All I did was I inserted, let's see, I'll show you, um, but I inserted the bulletin board background and then these folders and then the folders I have linked to different files um, or like the online book goes to one of the storyline online. And again, the Bitmoji is from the Bitmoji Chrome extension, but this is how you could set it up. And I would recommend um, you can make copies of this Google Slides presentation. So if you have one you're really proud of, um, just go ahead and make a copy so you can save it for later. Um, let's see, let's look at this one. Here's one where I did the bulletin board with the posters on it, and those are clickable. Um, there my Bitmoji is reading a book. You can have the Bitmoji do all sorts of fun things. Like I said, here's an example of actually in my own therapy room. But this is generally how you make and put together an interactive classroom. You can move things around as much as you want. You can add as little or as much as you'd like. Maybe you want to add, you know, hey, a speech language therapy sign. You can do that very easily by inserting a picture. So make it a little smaller so it fits. And then you can share this depending on what your school is using. You can share this very easily via Google Classroom. Um, I believe Seesaw is doing this too. And for me, I am planning on using an iPad. If I'm in person, I will probably just use my iPad for materials simply to cut down on germ exposure. Um, but this I can have up and I can save all of my different files. So all right for the day, I know what articulation activity I'm going to do. I know what game I'm going to have available and just have this up and with me on my iPad. So there's several different ways to use it. I hope this video gives you a little bit better idea of actually how to make it. Um, and if you have any questions, please let me know.